Insecurity, the role of the citizen and social institutions and the place of religion in national development are some of the subject matters on which this discussion about the state of the nation is anchored. The keynote speaker is the Catholic Archbishop Emeritus of Abuja, John Cardinal Onaikon. He says Nigeria's socio-economic challenges are heightened by the distrust of government on the part of the citizens. The cleric asks Nigerians not to lose hope but seize the opportunities of the 2023 elections to make the desired change. I cannot say that everything is all bad with our nation. Many people, especially foreigners, have been pre predicting prophet of doom, predicting that Nigeria will soon become a failed state. I do not believe that we have reached that stage, nor do I think that we shall reach that stage anytime soon. The flag of the nation is still flying, even though it is dirty and tattered. I'm saying this because basic institutions are still functioning, even though not in optimal level. Bad or weak government is better than no government at all. Despite the prevalent challenges, contributors say Nigerians must take responsibility of pulling the country out of its present state of inertia. We moved China to where it is to be, Britain, Germany, and any other country, Dubai, UAE, who will move in there. It is the citizens of that nation, not other people. So we have the capacity to do it, and we have to do it. If we have problems, they are not so debilitating as to truncate possibility of making progress. In fact, we say that a crisis is a, a good thing to waste. If we are bad, then that's actually uh, economically bad or it creates a greater motivation to move faster. I we saw it in countries like Korea, South Korea, we saw it in China, we've seen it in Taiwan lately. Even in Rwanda, some will argue, we are seeing that. Uh, extra double improvement arising from calamity. The National Association of Sea Dogs says the commemorative lecture is part of its intervention for national development. I think one of the um, challenges we had in the past is that a lot of the work that we've been doing, we don't often put our names to it. You know, um, it, like today it has been mentioned regarding the toll gates where we did a report uh, regarding the corruption happening at toll gates, which is why toll gates were dismantled at that point in time. Our role in, in the setting up of the uh, Federal Road Safety Commission, we had a very strong role there. Our role in, in democracy itself, where we actually were working with um, NADECO and we set up uh, Radio Kudurat. And so that, these are the things that we used to do in the past, but we didn't really, really put our names to it. And because of that, people didn't really understand what we were doing or understand who we are as an organization. So we now decided that, okay, henceforth we'll be actually coming out in public to let people see what we're doing. The association is celebrating its 70th anniversary, which climaxes with the weekend of service to humanity. Ferdinand Duroha, Arise News.